welcome to How to Play. We are in downtown Salina and today we are going to be playing a game called Colt Express. It's a two to six player game put out by Ludonaut. And Randy and Nick and Non James and Abigail, we're all going to play here this game in downtown Salina. So Nick is going to explain the rules for us. All right, in this game, we are all robbers on a train in the Old West. So if, as you can see in our train, we've got our different robbers set up for each of our different characters. Um, and as we play through the game, we are going to have these different round cards. On these round cards, they will dictate what our players will do throughout the game. So each player has a set of cards that allow them to do different actions, whether that action is to climb up or down on the train, to move left or right within the cars or on top of the train. There are different types of loot, purses, jewels, and even strong boxes on this train. So players will be able to loot, which means they will pick up uh, some loot off the bottom of the train or wherever it's on the train. Players will, will be able to shoot each other. If a player is in an adjacent car, they can shoot a player in an adjacent car. Or if they're on top of the train, they can shoot any player in their line of sight. Players may punch other players, meaning they can punch players who are either in the same car or on the same car as them. And when they do that, they will move that character back or forward, whichever direction they choose, uh, one car. And they will also choose what loot that character drops in the car where they were punched. And then there's also the marshal, who starts out in the engine in this game. And players will have the chance to move the marshal if they play the marshal card. Now, the reason the marshal is important in this game is because if any player is in the same car as the marshal, the marshal automatically shoots them, meaning they get a neutral bullet card, and they will move to the top of the train on that car. So during a round, players will play sequential, sequentially. Uh, kind of programming their moves for what they are going to do throughout the round. So maybe a player wants to move over to a different car to steal some loot. They're going to need to play one of their move cards first, and then probably their loot card uh, on the next turn if that's available. The hard thing is that other players can interrupt some of their moves by playing other actions in between. Um, I think we're probably good to go, so I think we'll get started. I will be our starting player. And in our first round, each player is going to be playing five cards, it looks like. Our first two cards will be played face up, meaning all of us get to see what's being played. The third card is in a tunnel, which means we will turn the card face down when you play it, which means it's secret from everybody other than the person who played it. And then the final two cards will also be played face up. Now, at the end of this round, there's going to be a special event that occurs. And it looks like that special event is a passenger's rebellion, which means at the end of the round, the bandits who are inside of a car get a neutral bullet card, which would be one of these, which will kind of weigh down their hand later in the game. So it would be in the best interest of the different robbers to be on top of the train at the very end of the round. So we've all drawn our six cards. And I will start first. So I am going to start by playing a loot card. And I will play a loot card. Ooh. I'm going to play a punch card. <laughs> going for it early. Trying to punch me before I get loot. <laughs> I see. Well, I'll take some loot. Uh, one thing we should mention is that all of us started with $250 in loot, and all of our players have different abilities. So, do we want to go over those abilities real fast? Sure. Okay. I'm Doc, which means at the beginning of a turn, I get to draw seven cards rather than six. All other players draw six cards. I'm the Django. <laughs> and Django, Django gets, when Django shoots another player, uh, he will also move them back one car, similar to if he punched the other player. Cheyenne uh, doesn't have to wait for loot to drop after punching them. She can punch them and take it right away, because she's a pretty good pickpocket. Mm -hmm. And then Tuco can either shoot players on top of his car or inside of the car that he is currently on top of. So all players have abilities that kind of give them some kind of an advantage in the game. I 
think that I am going to get out of my current situation and move to the top of the train. And I'm going to move to another car. <laughs> I think I'm going to punch. Hmm. This third card means we're in a tunnel, so we are going to all play face down on this one. Hmm. I think I will play this one. Okay. We're back to playing cards face up. So I'm going to try and shoot somebody, hoping that they're near enough for me to do that. I'm going to punch someone, assuming they're near <laughs> enough. Yeah. <laughs> That's what those tunnels do. <clears throat> Moving left and right. Shoot. Shooting. And... I'm going to loot as my final action. I'm going to shoot as my final action. <laughs> I'm going to shoot. I'm going to go up, down. So now that all players have played all of their actions for this round, we will turn the deck over and play them out sequentially so you'll kind of get to see it played out like a movie on our train. So first, Doc is going to loot, so I'm going to go ahead and take this purse that's in the car as, <coughs> as I am. Next, Django is going to loot, but there's nothing there for him to loot because I just picked it up. <laughs> Cheyenne is going to punch Tuco, and you get to take, actually you'll get to take his um, purse that he already has on him. And then he moves, right? And he'll move one away. So now it's getting crowded. <laughs> Tuco is going to loot nothing, nothing because he got moved. Yeah. Doc's going to climb to the top of the train, just kick him out. <laughs> Django is going to move. Would you like to go forward or backward? Forward. Forward. Cheyenne is going to loot. Only imagine what she wants to loot. Tuco is going to punch it thin air because everybody's moved out of his car. <laughs> Doc is going to punch it thin air too because nobody's up on the train. Django is going to climb to the top and fall. Cheyenne will climb to the top. There's not going to be anything left to do. <laughs> Yeah, there will be. Tuco is going to loot. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Doc is going to shoot. Now, because I have two players who are within my line of sight, I get to choose who I want to shoot. So I am going to shoot Cheyenne, just because she's got more money right now. So she'll take that shot card. It will go into her hand later. Django is going to punch. Nothing, because there's nobody on the same car as him. Cheyenne will move. Now she's on top of the train, so she gets to choose whether she wants to move one car or up to three cars. Mm. Move three cars ahead. Tuco will shoot straight up through his roof because his player ability allows him to do that. Doc is going to loot nothing because there's nothing there for him to loot. Django will shoot, and since he has two players in the same distance from him, he gets to choose. We've each taken one shot already, so. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'll take dog. Okay, so give me one of your shot cards there. Cheyenne will shoot, and she'll shoot Django, because Django is the closest person to her. So everybody's been... Thank you. Well, not everybody's been shot yet. 
and Tuco is going to finish out on top of the train as well. So the condition at the end of this, or the event at the end of this round, was that the marshal is, or sorry, that the passengers are going to uh, give a shoot anybody who is in a car. But since nobody's in a car, that's not going to happen to any of us. So we will give everybody their cards back, and we will shuffle them, including any shot cards you received this last round, to form a new deck. And we will pass the starting player to the left. Bingo. Doc. So now if any players took shot cards in that last round, they now have those shot cards in their hand, which can weigh them down because those shot cards are essentially useless. And our new round will consist of four cards. They'll all be played face up. And at the end of the round, let me look here, uh, we will be breaking. So any bandits who are on roofs will move one car forward because they couldn't keep their footing. So first player, you're up. Move to the next car. Moving up down. Hmm. Shoot. Hmm. I am going to move. I'm going to move to the next car. I'm going to move the sheriff. Well, Nike won't do that anymore. I, instead, am going to draw three new cards instead of taking an action. Going to shoot. Mm. Move the chair. I'm going to move up or down. I am going to move the sheriff as well. I'm going to move the sheriff. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to draw three cards. Oh, that's the end of the round. Is it? This, yep. is, our this is our last card. This is the Sorry. last card? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, you talked me into shooting. Okay. This is the fourth card. Hopefully you don't shoot me. I'm going to either climb up or down. So we will turn the deck over and play them out again. So we're going to start with Django moving. Left or right, with the reminder that you can move up to three spaces on top of the car. Okay. Cheyenne will now climb down. Tuco will shoot. Now you don't get to shoot me because I'm equal with you, so Django's going to get shot. All right. <laughs> Doc is going to move three cars. Django is going to move again, left to right. Cheyenne is going to loot. What would you like? I'll, I'll let you come around and take what you want, because there's a lot in there for you. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Might as well. And then the sheriff's going to be moved by Tuco. So, so since the sheriff was moved into the same car as another player, that player will take a neutral bullet and gets shot up to the top of their current car. No. And then Django's going to shoot Cheyenne. Mm -hmm. 
So go ahead and give her a shot card there. Sheriff is going to be moved again one more time. Cheyenne, which way do you want to move him? Left or forward or backward? Um, backward. So towards the back of the train? No, forward. Okay. Tuco is going to climb down. Doc will move the sheriff again. Which way would you like to move the sheriff? <laughs> Let's move him on back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cheyenne is going to shoot. Now, since we're both at the same distance to you, you get to choose which one of us. Oh, uh, let's see. Well, you shot me. So. Oh, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> Revenge is best served when it's not coming my way. <laughs> Tuco is going to shoot the sheriff, but you can't shoot the sheriff. Not Bob Marley. So, Sad. and then we'll end the round with Doc climbing down. Now, at the end of the round, we break, so any characters who are on top of a car will move one car forward. So, because Django can't fly off the front. That's right. <laughs> He's strong enough not to do that. Yeah. Definitely not on the cow catcher. <laughs> <laughs> and again, we'll shuffle in any shot cards we received that last round. And our starting player will move to the left. Now, if we're keeping score at home, Tuco, you've shot how many people? Twice. Just twice? Twice. I've shot once. So I'm the only one who's shot once. <laughs> Might need to start catching up because at the end of the game, whichever player shoots the most will get a $1,000 bonus. I tried shooting the sheriff. It didn't work. <laughs> he dodged. <laughs> I almost shot the sheriff. <laughs> Draw my extra card. All right, starting player, go ahead. Mm. Climb down. Climbing down. Oh, did you flip our thing? Oh, sorry. Maybe you want to pull that back before we go. Okay, actually, there's, there isn't going to be uh, any special event at the end of this round. However, uh, we will play four cards, and on the second card, you will actually play two cards in a row. So you'll play one card face down. The next time it comes around, you'll play two cards, or face up, excuse me. You'll play two cards face up, and on the fourth, or on your next turn around, you'll play one more card face up. Yep. So it didn't change anything for you? No. What do you think? Gonna move. Moving around. Well, I'm going to loot. I'm going to move the sheriff. Ooh. Mm. I'm going to loot. So she's supposed to play two. Yes, yeah, she'll play two here. So do you play them one at a time yep. or you stack them? You just so you stack them on top of each other. So whichever one you want to play first, you should well, probably play first. What I'm asking yes. is, can the other players see what your first, what yes. both cards yes. are? Yes, you, you have to show what both cards are. Okay. So you are, are you punching first and then looting? Gotcha. I oh, will loot and then ascend. I am going to Punch. Hmm. And then I'm going to actually move the sheriff. I'm going to shoot and then loot. Shooting and looting. There we go. I will move. I will move up or down as well. Loot. All right, that's the end of that round. Let's see how this one shapes up. So we'll start with Cheyenne moving down into the engine. Getting crowded. Tuco is going to move towards the caboose or towards the engine? Towards the sheriff yeah. or away from the sheriff? <laughs> yeah. I was trying to reframe it. Yeah, you weren't doing a very good job. Doc's going to loot the strong box. 
Django is going to move the sheriff. Cheyenne is going to punch. <laughs> punch. So what am I dropping? Uh, what do you think? Strong box? Of course. Now you don't get to take the strong box right away, but I think you play into that. You can take the purse. You, you could, could just, just take my purse right away. You do have to move. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't. Oh, I, you're right. I do move. I move out of here. Oops. <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> and then she's going to loot the strong box. You're welcome. <laughs> Tuco is going to loot the purse, and then he'll move to the top of the train. Doc is going to punch at thin air because he forgot that he gets moved when he gets punched. <laughs> and then he's going to move the sheriff towards the engine. Django is going to shoot Tuco because he's the only one on, other one on top of the car. Django will then loot, nothing. <laughs> Cheyenne will climb to the top. Tuco will move across the top. Doc will climb to the top. <laughs> <laughs> Getting crowded. And Django will loot nothing again. <laughs> All right. We will pass out cards. Oh, I guess I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, we will actually have two more two rounds. More. Okay. We will play this round and then we will have an end of round round, I get a end of game round following that. card. Okay, we will each play five cards. Our second card will be in a tunnel, so face down, and our fourth card will be in a tunnel, face down as well. James, we'll start Tuco. We'll start with you. I'm going to draw three more cards. Oh. Hmm. I think I will do the same. And I will draw three cards as well. Didn't like our hands, apparently. Give <laughs> <laughs> yourself more of, options. A lot of bullets right. been shared. You get a punch. Oh. So this is face down. Yes, we will now play this card face down. Oh, whoa, 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 no. hold on, hold on. Oh, Ghost of Nick. Sorry. Hold on. It's not to back backwards. to you. Oh, hold on, hold on, I'm up. <laughs> Nick, Nick, jump in you there. You got all of us off track. Before. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. I'm trying to go <laughs> clockwise, apparently. There we go. Now we'll play face up. Oh, James. <laughs> I know, we're all antsy. We know what we want to do. <laughs> so maybe James. He's thinking about it. I'd say draw, draw three new cards. If you're really this unsure, <laughs> do you have three to draw? We only got two left. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> Punch me. You may not even be there. I know. Move. I don't know if you're going to be there. I or forget not. where I everybody's think you gone anyway. Often. We will play again in a tunnel. Is it my turn? Yes. <laughs> Shouldn't be waiting. You've got to make sure now. 
Everybody's Never. jumping in to take your spot. Yeah. Hmm. Face up. Face up, yep. Oh, you're moving the sheriff, I'm shooting. <laughs> yep. <laughs> moving the sheriff, sheriff again. Looting. Looting, and then that's the end of the round. Let's play these out. <clears throat> we will start with Cheyenne punching Django. You gonna, you gonna take his purse from yes, him? Yes, of course. <laughs> so. That's all right. <laughs> Next. No, what about fair play? He moves. He moves. Oh, yes, you will. You'll move this way. <laughs> God, thank you for reminding me. Tuco is going to shoot Definitely Cheyenne. Only one choice. Only one choice, yep. Doc is going to move. Django is going to climb down. Cheyenne will climb down. If the train doesn't get destroyed. J or, Tuco is going to punch at nothing, but so is Doc. <laughs> Django is going to move. Which direction? Do you want to go towards the sheriff? No, I think I'll pass on that. Okay, we'll go towards the engine. <laughs> Tuco is going to loot nothing. Doc will also loot nothing. <laughs> Django will loot nothing. <laughs> and Cheyenne is going to move. She Too many has... robbers, not enough cash. <laughs> yep, <laughs> one direction to move. <laughs> but Tuco is going to move the sheriff. So go ahead and take a neutral bullet card. Don't work. And you'll move to the top of the train. No. And she, and she drop something or no? Uh, no, not when you get shot. Doc is going to shoot. <laughs> Django is going to move the sheriff. Which direction? <laughs> You're not gonna move him with me. <laughs> And Cheyenne is going to loot nothing. <laughs> so we're starting to see where maybe our programming didn't work out a little bit. It's like Robo Rams. <laughs> Very similar. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, you drew three. All right, we are getting ready for our last round here. Currently, it looks like Tuco and Django are tied for giving out the most bullets. Sharing the love. Sharing the love. Sharing the love. Now, at the end of the game, two, two players or multiple players can share the $1,000 reward. And by share, I mean they each get the $1,000 reward. Oh. Yes. Sweet. In our last round. We will play four cards. The first two will be face up. The third card will be face down in a tunnel. And the fourth card will be face up. Uh, at the end of the round, the hostage is the hostage taking of the conductor. So each bandit who is either in the locomotive, which would be the engine, or on its roof receives a $250 ransom. So if you are in or on top of the locomotive at the end of the round, you get an extra $250 at the end of the game. And the starting player goes back to me. Hmm. And I am going to shoot somebody. I'm going to move to another car. I think I'm going to shoot somebody. <laughs> I think I'm going to shoot somebody. I wonder who you guys are going to shoot. <laughs> uh, we, I will move to another car then. It's not like you're going to draw. I'm outrun your bullets. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Well. Dodging? That's not a card. <laughs> Duck? I have Doc. You don't get negative for having the most bullets at the end. <laughs> you do not. You do not. 
So it doesn't matter. Nope. Hey, if you're going to get shot in a round, this is the one to get shot. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Face up. We will now play in a tunnel, so face down. My, my turn, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Hmm. And we are now face up. I am going to attempt to loot. Intend to go back up. Sheriff. Who's the sheriff? Okay, let's see how things finished up. Doc is going to start out by shooting. Aww, there you go. So nice. Django will move towards the caboose. Cheyenne's going to shoot. Mm. I'll take your bullet from you. I guess I can shoot you. <laughs> and Django, I'll take your bullet as well. I can share the love down that way if I want to. Oh, you can. You can shoot down through the roof. That's right. You got strong bullets. I am going to move one car. Django is going to punch nothing. <laughs> Tuco is going to move down. Doc is going to punch. Cheyenne. Wait. Just drop that heavy satchel. Django is going to shoot nothing. Because there's only people in the same car as you and you can't shoot the sheriff. Hello. Cheyenne's going to move away from that strong box she just dropped. Dude, you have to move me first. <laughs> Two co's in there. Oh, I have to move you. I have to move you, sorry. But you have to be one car away to one shoot One car somebody. away. Yes, oh, okay. now you move down. Sorry. <laughs> Boy, you're on top of that rule. Tuco is going to loot. There are three purses in there for you to choose from. Doc is going to loot that strong box. Oh, so shame. Maybe. And Django will climb up. Cheyenne will loot nothing. And the sheriff will be moved by Tuco. I can only assume. I guess it really doesn't matter what direction. <laughs> it's the end of the game. So now that it's the end of the game, we will count up our money. So flip over any. Money that you have, or don't flip over any if you don't have any. Don't have any. <laughs> Six fifty. So, I have sixteen hundred fifty, one thousand six hundred fifty dollars. Wow. However, how much do you have over there? Uh, seventeen fifty. Right. Five hundred. Yes, yeah, seventeen fifty. And then Tuchel will get a thousand dollar bonus because he shot the most. Correct. So you've shot four. Yep. So you've got sixteen fifty. I've got sixteen fifty. We've got zero, zero, but seventeen fifty wins it. So, Cheyenne Whoa. is the most successful right, robber Cheyenne. in and this I game. Have, like, killed it too if you wouldn't have freaking stolen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> got to make it interesting. Thousand dollars there. So, that's Colt Express. Yep. Thank you. Thanks for watching the uh, How to Play here in downtown Salina. That was Colt Express. Uh, plays two to six players, and we play every fourth. Tuesday of every month here at Community Access. So come down and join us. All right. There you go.